Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a reusable input component. Let's create a file called app input inside atoms. Here I'm going to add tsrafce. Yeah. The reason we create a file like app input is uh, we need to maintain a consistent design throughout the project. So I will add the design only for this page only for this file it will appear in the same way in all the pages in our project okay also uh, let's see like in the future we wanna convert our design custom design to material design so in that case instead of going through all the pages and converted it one by one we can convert it in here and then all the pages will be changed that's the main reason we create a separate file for this also you see i add app in front of the uh, input reason is design systems uh, like material and other design systems have input input component like this one okay so if i use the same name here uh, when i import i will get uh, complete so i have to go here and command i and choose one by one so i don't have to do it if i use a word like this so this is just for our app okay so let's design this you will understand how to use it after that before uh, designing our component let's import this in the to do page here app input okay now we need to convert this to a label to show the title let's create a view and let's create the input field so in here i want uh, span to show the star okay so before that one let's add the uh, title so okay before doing that we have to import things so easiest way is to get this copied you can hover the input field and you get this one and paste it in here okay now you can access all the props that we can pass to this uh, input field through these props okay we are passing props to this one right these are properties right this so we can access all the things now through these props so for example this is type right so instead of that we can type props.type it automatically get all these and things from these uh, props these are by default these are coming from react react types so you can use it like this there's a shorter method to pass all the props to a component it's something like this okay so now uh, in the left side we have to add uh, props dot um, title okay let's add title okay we have title okay we don't have to do anything okay now uh, it's working not 100 percent so let's add the uh, logic for this all right uh, first let's show our props to title view when props to title is available okay so uh, also let's show the star only props dot uh, required is true okay now 
now go to to do page here let's set type text sorry title name required so it should work now okay we can can't find variable react all right so you see the name is here the star is here if i remove this required this star is gone if i remove the title the title is gone only the input field okay this is what i want to show you now let's design this you seen our uh, style emotion style so to uh, make our work easy i'm gonna copy the code uh, for the design and import it in here all right let's add the design now so you can see it's a label uh, so i'm gonna add this one so this one is title the div so i'm gonna add that one this is the star it should be red right normally so i add the color tomato this is input now i'm gonna add the thing all right let's check the design now so you can see everything look cool let's go to to do page and remove these things and that's it for today thank you for watching see you guys in the next one have a nice day don't forget to like and subscribe.